Hi, this is Dr. Russell Rosenberg. Welcome to this tutorial on WebPSG. First, I'm going to log in under Student Login. Bring in my username and then my password. From here, I'm going to click My Courses. And I'm going to click on the plus sign here under the PSG bundle, 1 through 25. I'll scroll down here and go to the first PSG that I'm going to look at. I'll click here to launch the course. And if I want to review the written instructions, I would click here. And to uh, view the video again, I would just click right there. So I'm going to start the assessment looking at the PSGs, clicking here. At the same time, I'm going to maximize my screen so that I can see the entire PSG. And what you see here now is a complete montage. And first, I'd like to orient you to the different montages that are available for you to view with WebPSG. It will always default to Acquisition Map, but if you look at the pull-down menu, you can go to a staging montage, just looking at the uh, primary channels needed to stage the uh, sleep study. And if you're interested in the respiratory channels only, you'd click Respiratory. And then finally, we would look at the full PSG, which is the one that I usually look at to go for the whole PSG. I'd like to also orient you to these buttons up here in the upper uh, left-hand corner, which will advance the study one way or another. If you go to the triple arrows, you'll go to the very end of the study, the triple arrows pointing to the right, triple arrows to the left, take you to the very beginning of the study. And while we're here at the very beginning of the study, let me tell you in the lower left-hand corner, it will show you the time and the epic number that you are on. Back up here to the navigation area, two arrows will click you through one epic or 30 second period, um, either forward or backward. The single arrow, right or left, will click you one second forward or backward. Now you have the capability also of looking at different screen sizes or times. Here you can go from 30 seconds, which is standard for scoring as you may know, all the way up to 10 minutes. So now let's look at uh, some of the questions that you will see on the left hand side and uh, you can answer the questions by clicking one of the radio buttons next to the A, B, C, or D and here I'll just click D. Clicking next to the next, go to the next answer, you'll see that you get feedback only when the question is incorrect. It will tell you the correct answer and also provide a brief explanation as to why the answer was incorrect. One other thing I'd like to show you just very briefly as the next epic uh, comes up and the next question comes up is that in some of these channels here you'll find that the waveform may not be as easily seen as you might like so you can basically right click on it here we're right clicking on respiratory flow and you can adjust the gain here which will give you a little better view of that particular channel. Now back to the questions, you'll look here, it says what is sleep latency, and you will have been able to navigate forward or backward to determine when that is, pressing the radio button that you think the answer is for, and going on to next. You'll also find that the question will advance you to a place in the study that uh, the answer is uh, most apparent to you, or at least a good starting point for you to determine where the answer is. Don't forget in the lower left-hand corner you can determine the uh, time of the study as well as uh, the epic number. So that's basically it. I've shown you the navigation bars here at the top, the time sequence that you can choose, as well as the particular uh, montage that you'd like to use as you're viewing the PSG and as you're trying to answer the questions. Hope this helps, and thanks for uh, checking in with uh, WebPSG.